villain. He's so close. Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. I have to see my brother.
Oh my god, did she have to write everything in her made up gibberish code? Fuck it, Marshall, or CIA spy shit, god. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing, even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday and had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? I have to go. Oh, me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the Hiss signal I can arrange. How did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the Hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse. Be careful. Extra security on your brother. No offense, but that dude is the scariest motherfucker I have ever laid eyes on. Like I said, no offense. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. dissected that freak mutation we locked up. We can learn so much from his physiology. It's a valuable resource, Lola. And pop for being any physical form. Of course, she was free. You can also tell her. No, that's what we need to find. Surely we can find a more constructive use of our time. Lots of interesting data off that subject the Rangers brought in. I heard that he voluntarily entered captivity. That's what Pope said anyway. She doesn't know what she's talking about.
this note? I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have blown back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Remember, we got this. Marshall didn't give me any orders before she left. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory.
luck out there. Lunatics are running the asylum. Find anything interesting? Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used black rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives! So many combat applications! Slicing, stabbing, gouging, or... Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Director has taken a shine to Poe. Explains a lot. Fuck, if they're in there, we go around that way. No. Hey, I put extra security on your brother. No offense, but that dude is the scariest motherfucker I have ever laid eyes on. Like I said, though, no offense. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Marshall didn't give me any orders before she left. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. 
Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? true. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangeville! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic, so safe, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, one. maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. 
I was the only child, a girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are alarmed through time. The thunder's hump distorts you. Happiness comes with white pearls, the yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is in red.
studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... never gone away.
There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby.
You're listening to America Overnight.